What's up guys, CS20 here, hope you're doing well, in today's video we'll be building a 2.5 litre inline 5 big turbo engine, let's go! Block material is AISI, which is, I believe I believe it's a uh, aluminum based uh, metal, forged assembly, uh, bullet steel crank, um, lightweight titanium con rods with forged pistons, and of course plus 15 quality the first change i'm gonna make to this engine that i typically don't do is i'm gonna utilize direct injection for the fuel side of things uh, i think i'm gonna run it on methanol for now and later on i will be switching over to nitromethane because uh yeah power all right so we're making 614.5 horsepower now I'm just going to set the engine up before I start playing with the turbo and that does require me to raise the RPM limit we play a little bit of the cam profile as well as the compression and spring and lifter tension now I do typically push the spring lifter tension up quite high to hard springs and lifters just so we're playing in the high RPM range that we don't get valve float or break any of the pistons that is with valve connection alrighty now we can start working on the turbo first thing I'm gonna do is gonna enlarge the compressor housing or the x ducer size in this case to see how far I can push it as well as give it a little more boost to see what it does we are still on methanol I believe um, as well as we are utilizing a smart boost wastegate in this case so just shrinking the in inducer I believe inducer well, I know it is a turbine uh, size yeah we're already up to 1300 horsepower almost to 1400 I'm hoping for around all set and done around 1700 horsepower that's what I'm thinking I think that's a realistic goal for this engine so yeah we're doing really good already yeah, we're almost to 1.5, 1,500 horsepower, so that's good. Just raising the boost a little more. Yep, 1,500 horsepower until it explodes. That's doing really good. Alright, this thing is looking really good so far. We're up to 1,500 horsepower. That's really good, we can start playing with the fueling, make a little more power, as well as the ignition timing map, we can advance that guy to negative 5. So yeah, let's see what else I can do. Viewing all the flow charts and uh, seeing what's up with that. Making the header size a little larger so we can uh, remove some stress from the actual header and see what it sounds like. sounds awesome you can hear the definite sound difference between a inline 4 and inline 5 from a distance away you'll hear that now we're just gonna make this thing look awesome I like the way that green is starting to pop I'm just gonna copy that and paste it on the rest of the ports like valve cover timing cover the intake manifold that whole bolt-on system I think it's gonna look awesome when it's all said and done alright I think that's gonna do it for this video thank you very much for watching and have a good day